Hello coders and thanks for joining us for another C Sharp Fundamentals tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be telling you guys about enumerations. Now before I can really define what an enumeration is, I'm going to go ahead and initialize one here with code and then talk about each aspect of the code. So I'm going to start off by saying enum, so C Sharp's keyword enum, game state. So I, I think I've said this before in my tutorials, I really like to do game examples because it's something that we're all familiar with. We've all played games before, so those concepts are nothing new to um, the general um, learner of programming. Okay, so I'm going to use a game example, and in this for this enumeration, we're going to call it game state. And what's going to go inside these curly braces is the different game states that we're going to have. Okay, if we're going in a different direction, we could have an enumeration for months of the year. And the values that would go inside the curly braces are going to be the months. So we could have January, February, March, uh, April. And so these values are going to be separate by, separated by a comma. Okay. And so our game states are going to be menu, playing, and pause. So we're just going to do three game states for now. Okay. And so this is essentially what this line of code does is it, it creates an enumeration called game state with three values, menu, playing, and pause and what game state becomes is a data type for you to use. Okay, so we aren't done yet. Instead, we have to create a variable, and since we're gonna be using it within static void main, the variable has to be static, and it's gonna be of type game state, and we're gonna call it game state, uh, lowercase game state. Okay, so we have our enumeration game state called game state, and it, it can at any point be menu playing or pause. Okay, now the cool thing about enumerations is that they're really great at handling Boolean values. So menu is ever, only ever going to be 0 or 1. Same thing with playing, same thing with pause. And the really interesting part is if I ever set game state to menu or if I ever set game state to playing, then the other values inside the enumeration are going to get set to false automatically without you having to do anything. Now why is this so important? Well, if you didn't know about enumerations, and you were trying to figure out how to handle game states or you're trying to figure out how to handle months of the year or anything like that, you might or you probably would have ended up result, uh, resulting to using Boolean values. So you might have said bool menu equals false, bool playing equals true, bool pause equals false. Okay, so any one of these can only one of these at any time can be true. So anytime you were to change your game state, so let's say I wanted to go from playing to menu, I would have to write three more lines of code for each state um, saying that menu is now true, playing is now false, false, and pause is now false. Okay, so you would have to, for any, basically for any number, for however many numbers of values you have in your enumeration, is how many Boolean lines of code you would have to write each time you wanted to change the state. With enumerations, all you have to do is one line of code and it goes something like game state in this example equals game state dot playing. And if I'm going from menu to playing, it automatically sets a menu and pause to false and playing to true. Does that for you with one line of code. So that's a really cool thing about enumerations. Okay, one more thing about enumerations is that whenever you initialize them, or if you if you don't initialize your enumeration, it's going to be defaulted to the first value. So if in static void main I never say game state equals game state dot menu, it's always going to be equal to that. Okay, so entering main I could say game state equals game state dot menu. And whether I use this line of code or not, my, my game or my program is going to run exactly the same. If I wanted it to be a different value, for instance, if, if I wanted to start on playing, I could either set playing to the first value of the enumeration, or I could just say when the, when the program starts, I could just set it to playing like this. Okay, But we want to start off in the menu, so I don't need to initialize the enumeration at all. Okay, So as you can see, I have a bool running which is going to determine whether our while loop ever exits, okay? And in this case, in this example, it never exits. And then I have an in input, so we'll talk about that in a second. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be entering this loop when the program starts, and I have two switch statements which in the, within this loop. The first, games, the first switch statement handles our game state. 
So this is similar to a lot of games. Actually, every game is going to have a similar setup to this. Uh, this is kind of like a state machine. We have case game state is menu. We're going to run some logic. Case game state is playing. We're going to run some other logic. Case game state is pause. We're going to run some other logic. So in the menu, we might be updating um, some UI elements, some buttons. In the playing, we, we, we might be updating some model positions, some player health values, um, damage updates, etc., etc. In the game state pause state, we might be updating again UI elements, and, and then we'll have to pause all the model transformations and things like that. Okay, so this is a, a pretty common setup whenever you're dealing with game states inside most games. Okay, so that handles that switch statement. Our second switch statement is going to handle our input, and this is where we're going to be able to control what our enumeration value is. Okay. So we have an input, and what we're doing is we're parsing console.readline. So since input is not a string, it's an integer, we have to parse our console.readline because console.readline always returns a string. So we parse that, and then what we're going to do is get a, a value in return, and we're going to switch on that value input. Okay. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this. Um, so basically, we have case 1. So if our input is 1, then we're going to switch the game state to menu. If our case is two, we're going to switch the game state to playing. If our case is three, we're going to switch the game state to pause. And this is what I was talking about. If we had Boolean values, we would have to say something like menu equals true, playing equals false, pause equals false. And I would essentially have to copy and duplicate these three lines of code each time. Now imagine if we had 20 different game states, which is not uncommon for a lot of popular or not necessarily popular but for a lot of um, <clears throat> a lot of in-depth games a lot of really robust games are going to have you know upwards of 10 15 to 20 different game states and so for each one of these cases you would have to have 15 to 20 lines of code for each boolean where with enumerations you only have to write one line of code okay so that was the importance I was trying to stress so if we run this then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to see what the current game state is and then we're going to be able to enter a value from 1 to 3 to change the game state. So let's debug and start debugging to see this in action. I'm going to come up on it. Okay, so we're currently in the menu state. As I said before, it defaults to that first value. Now I'm going to enter 2. Okay, so we enter the playing state. I'm going to enter 3. We go to pause. I'm going to go back to playing by pressing 2 and back to menu by pressing 1. Okay, so as you can see, we have full control over the uh, current game state or the current value of the enumeration. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, guys, so that's going to sum up this tutorial uh, on enumerations. If you enjoyed the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe for more tech tutorials um, revolving around uh, programming languages, game development, web development. If you're into any of that stuff, this is definitely, definitely the channel to subscribe to. Um, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.